Hi, welcome to the Multiverse video series. I'm Daniel and today I'm going to show you how to install TensorFlow on Windows. So here is my Windows machine. I assume that you already have RStudio and R installed, okay? So the first thing we need to do is to download Anaconda. So you can type Anaconda Python in Google and click on the first link. You will find the download links here. Make sure to choose the right OS. So I'm going to choose Windows and then click download. Okay. So I already have downloaded this file. It's here in my downloads folder. So I'm not going to download it again. And now just double click it. And click next. I agree. Next, next, install. You don't have to choose any option, any special option. Okay. So while it installs, I'm going to download another tool that we need to install TensorFlow. Okay. So the second thing we need to download is R2. You can just type R2s on download on. Google and you find the, the first link here and click on the recommended version here. I already have done that so I'm not going to download it again but it's here in my downloads folder. So just double click it again to install our tools. Yes, this will open the our tools installer okay next 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 and here it's important to mark the add our tools to system path otherwise our studio can't find it when installing packages okay next install Okay, so now our tools has finished the installing. I'll just click finish here. And it's important to close and reopen our studio, otherwise it, it doesn't find our tools. Okay, so I'm closing our studio and reopen. Okay, while Anaconda is installing, I'm, I'm going to install the TensorFlow R package. So I'm going to install it from GitHub because to get the latest code version. So first we need to install the remote package. So install.package remote. And next, we can install TensorFlow with install underscore GitHub Studio TensorFlow. Okay, this will download the, the TensorFlow repository from GitHub and install it from source. Okay, Anaconda is still installing.
Okay, now we have the TensorFlow R package installed, but we need to wait while Anaconda finishes installing. Okay, the, the Anaconda installation has completed. I'll just click next, next, and finish. Okay, so we can go back to our studio, library, TensorFlow. And before using the TensorFlow package, we need to install the TensorFlow Python module, which depends on Anaconda. So now we can install call the install underscore TensorFlow fun function, which we will use Anaconda to install the TensorFlow Python model. Uh, we can set the version arguments, and I'll set 2.0.0 beta 1. This will install the TensorFlow 2.0, which will be released in the next weeks, and it's an important release. and. Uh, do and maybe if you are seeing this video and TensorFlow 2.0 has already been released, we don't need to install the beta. Okay, so let's install TensorFlow. Okay, TensorFlow is now installed. It uh, already restarted the R session, so we can now library TensorFlow again. And we are ready to use TensorFlow now. So let's verify the installation, use the tfconfig function, which will show us the installed version and everything. Okay, you can see that we have 2.0.0 beta 1 installed into a Python 3.6 and we can now use any TensorFlow uh, function by using tf dollar and the name of the function, for example, tf abs will show us this. TensorFlow always, the first time you call an operation, will show you this message, but this is not important, okay? And that's it. In the next video, I'll show you how to build your first uh, neural network using TensorFlow and Keras. Thank you for watching.